What's going on guys and welcome back to the Dustin Lansdale YouTube channel. Today we're doing an eBay special product review. And this right here in this Chinese box that just come all the way from Hong Kong or Beijing or wherever, it's supposed to be a wall mount air conditioner heater, very similar, basically claiming that it's the exact same as a mini split except for there's no external unit needed. So it's saying there's no condenser, it can blow ice cold air or heat with no condenser no compressor nothing just a wall mount unit so i'm gonna go ahead and unbox it here it comes just real simply packaged with some foam and uh if you look it looks just like a mini split wall unit you got your vent on the bottom on the back there's no port no lines to run to a condenser unit and that got me, I'm like, I've never seen an air conditioner that doesn't make heat to make cold air. And I'm pretty sure I'm like, this has just gotta be a scam or something, but I'm gonna buy it. So I searched the whole entire YouTube and couldn't find one video except for a couple ads. And I'll play one of them in a second, show y'all what the ads look like on this thing saying, oh, it'll cool way down faster than a normal air conditioner. No need to spend a lot of money to install air conditioners anymore. This small mobile air conditioner saves energy and electricity, and the wind is strong. Easy to install, small and easy to move. No need to install an external machine. Put it where you want. Traditional air conditioners are too slow to cool down. This small mobile refrigeration device does not need to add water or fluoride. It cools or heats quickly in three seconds. After turning it on, the room will reach six. So whatever, it comes with your standard two-prong, seven-amp, 120-volt plug, which looks very small for an electric heater. But yeah, other than that, you do get a remote control and two screws to mount on the wall. Uh, it's got your normal hole with a screw, you know. But what I don't understand is, okay, I see it now. In the pictures, that is a little bit different whatever you put two screws in the wall slide it over and down and it locks on the screws and it won't come off of them so you basically take a tape measure and measure where these two holes are screw two screws level in the wall but other than that there's no sort of air filter nothing like that you got an intake vent here sucks air in and then blows air out the bottom and if you look inside of here there's your normal uh i don't know if y'all can see it but there's just a heater grate just like comes in the uh electric fireplaces and any type of space heater that works off of like a uh, air forced heat and that's all that's in here is a fan and a heater grate so there's no type of air conditioner system whatsoever because i actually had to take this thing apart when i got it out of the box because when i o opened the box and looked in there the screen was just hanging in the bottom of the of the air conditioner heater so I took it apart and the screws wasn't even screwed in. They was just laying in the bottom. So I don't know who this uh, inspector number eight of 2023 was who inspected this, but uh, he wasn't doing his job very good because he just let her go on through. And uh, I mean, somebody could have done better than that. But yeah, all I did was pick it up and shake it and I heard everything rolling around. I was like, man, so where this thing cost a total of about $63. You know, and uh, for the price, if it was an air conditioner heater, that would be dirt cheap. But for what it is, is just a space heater that mounts on the wall, which that's pretty neat. I got babies and kids that don't need to get burnt. So a space heater that mounts on the wall is a good option and it's not taking up space in your floor. And it's like a permanent unit. But most space heaters need to be three foot to four foot away from anything, including walls, in case of fire. And they're usually made out of metal or some sort of plastic. And they just sit in the floor, little dinky things. And you know, they're about $12 all the way up to like $70, spacers are. And they all average about 1,500 watts because 1,800 watts is the maximum you can draw out of a 110 household outlet. And uh, whatever, this thing claimed that it was 1,800 watts. And I was like, ugh, looking at this seven amp little dinky cord i'm like dang i don't know about 1800 watts of this cord because that's a lot of amperage so whatever i'm gonna go mount it up and hook it up and uh, we'll try the air conditioner option which i'm telling you it's just a fan so 
Don't be like me and order one expecting it to be an air conditioner, what it claims to be. It does condition air in a heater way because it's just a fan, fan space heater is what they're selling and they're calling it an air conditioner. I think they should get fined for false advertising because this should be advertised as a wall mount space heater, not an air conditioner because but they are making it look just like a mini split, which I have a mini split in here. See your normal mini splits that you buy that cost about $500 that are a heater air conditioner. That's for a 1200 BTU unit. Have to have one of these to operate. This is a condenser or the outside unit as other people call it. That's where your compressor is stored and your fan and heat exchanger radiator top deal that goes outside now in the winter months the heater's on this part is actually an evaporator and the inside's a condenser and it can reverse freon backwards and forward with a valve body that's how you get heat and air out of a actual mini split and it's got to have lines that run up the wall to the indoor unit and hook in the back and there's an actual radiator condenser in there and that's how that works and that's why they are so expensive now this one is 110 and it uses only 1200 watts to do 12,000 BTUs so you got about a watt per BTU and uh, that is way better than a space heater which most 1500 watt space heaters can only do about 5,000 BTUs or 4,000 somewhere in there at a total of 1500 watts which they works off of tungsten heating elements and the resistance of the flow of electricity now if y'all are wanting to get into a the most efficient way to cool or heat your home would be a mini split or a heat pump central air conditioner because then even when they don't even make a window unit with a heat pump that i've seen so far so whatever i'll get this thing mounted up and we we'll use it for what it is a heater because this is what it is it's a heater it does not condense any air it doesn't make it cold well here it is i went ahead and got her mounted up on the wall now this thing does come on pretty easy. It's got these kind of wave over finger style buttons. You just touch them. And uh, the temperature runs in Celsius. Right now I got it on 22. I think that's somewhere close to 70 something degrees. So uh, that's what I keep my mini split on. And uh, it automatically always comes on in heater mode. And uh, it actually gets so hot. If I had a, th a thermometer put in front of here, I'd show you the real temperature. But it gets hot enough to start burning your hand right here, just like a regular space heater. Now, I don't know what it draws out the outlet. Like I said, some places said like 1800 watts. And this cord looked way too small to be 1800. Now, I was going to put this in my uh, office room where I keep my computers. But uh, the cord was so short. Right there is the outlet. And I didn't want to run it through a uh, extension cord because you're not supposed to run a heater through an extension cord. So I said, heck, the bathroom be the perfect place for it. And that's what it looked good like it worked in. So right now the heater's on and uh, it, it blows all right. It's not too loud. I'll switch it to uh, cool wind. See, I didn't even touch the button. I just put my finger in front of it. It's got a timer. You got temperature up and down, but cool wind is just regular room temperature air basically the fans running behind the heater element in there there's no type of air conditioning cooling system whatsoever you know it's just a space heater with a fan function is what you're getting so the price is kind of high for a space heater with a fan function but I know you'll go to Walmart and you won't see any models of space heaters that mount on the wall and look as good as this. So I guess that's what you're paying for. Now I've seen these things anywhere from $60 all the way up to like $120 and I would never give $120 for one of these. Some of them was $220 and some of them, this one was $110. And basically, wall mounted space heater is what you're getting. So if you go on there looking, I feel like they need to change the name because that's really false advertising calling this an air conditioner because it does condition air but to a heater function so it should be wall mounted wall mounted uh space heater not an air conditioner and i looked inside the unit it does have thermal switches and all that it does have tiny wiring though all in there very cheap computer board right there it looks like nothing really 
taking that up, you know, which save your money, buy a real mini split. Don't waste your money on uh, one of these.